Hello, Relentless family. My name is Lacey and I serve as a staff pastor here on staff, a pastor of Congregational Life. And welcome to the Intentional Fast Day 6. Today's topic is very near and dear to my heart because it's something that I actually have to challenge myself to do daily, renewing my mind. Renewing our minds takes intentionality. In fact, it takes a concentrated effort of moving our thoughts in the right direction in order to achieve a goal differently than we have had in the past. Guys, it is a struggle sometimes, but we can do it. And because it is so important, we actually have some instructions in the Word of God as to how to renew our minds. In Romans 12, 1 and 2, the Apostle Paul encourages us to not be conformed to the pattern of the image of this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Why? So that we can know the good, pleasing, and acceptable will of God. As you can see, renewing our minds is very important if we are going to live a life that pleases God. God. As we go throughout this fast, it is going to be a challenge for some of us to keep our minds going in the right direction. Because just as a river flows downstream, so too our minds can easily get caught up in the patterns of this world. But I came to give you a little bit of encouragement. You can change the way you think with the power of God and meditating on His Word. So if you're on this fast, I know you want something different, as do I. So let's dive into a little bit more about how we can renew our minds. First of all, it's important to make space. You're on this fast and you're creating space so that God's word can speak to you. Additionally, it's important to renew and to cover your mind with the word of God. Prioritize the Word of God in the morning or throughout the day so that your mind can literally change and be refreshed throughout the day. And lastly, it's so important to think on the Word of God, meditating on the scripture. Pick a scripture, today's scripture, another scripture, and just continue to allow God's Word to literally change the way your mind works. This is important for so many reasons because as we change the way we think, we change the way we act. Then our actions influence our habits, our habit influences our lifestyle, and our lifestyle literally influences our destiny. So today, let's change our destiny. Let's move our destiny into the direction of God's good and perfect will for our lives, for my life, for your life, by renewing our minds with intentionality. So let me just pray for you as you close out your time with me today. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to renew our minds. We thank you for the promise that you give us that we will know your good, perfect, and acceptable will as we prioritize putting your word in our minds. We thank you for the thoughts that are being created, the lifestyle, the habits, and the destinies that are being changed as a result of prioritizing your word and putting our thought life subject to your scriptures. We love you, we thank you, we need you. We know that we can't do this without you, but we know that you are right here in the midst walking us through this intentional fast. Help us to make this day a great day, a great day of thinking on your word intentionally. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Thank you for joining me for day six of the Intentional Fast. We can't wait to see you tomorrow for day seven. For more devotionals or to join in any other part of our fast, please visit us online at ourrelentlesschurch.com slash fast or download the My Relentless Church app. We can't wait to see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.